Census numbers have been released, Indiana conservation officers on the lookout this weekend, and a driving instructor from Huntington County is facing felony charges. I'm Maggie Johnson. These stories and more next on Hoosier Ohio News Channel. Over 70% of our customers are repeat buyers or referrals. To get a customer back in our business, you have to treat them right, sell them a quality vehicle, and back it like we do with our famous 100,000 mile warranty. Preferred Auto on Grand Staff in Auburn. Who's your Ohio News Channel? Leading you into the future of how you get your news. Local, dependable, on demand. And now, the latest from Who's your Ohio News Channel. The numbers from the 2010 U.S. Census have been released and they show that the population of Auburn has grown about 8% since the 2000 Census. The remaining cities in DeKalb County have held a steady population or shown a slight decrease. The same holds true for Steuben County, with Angola showing a growth rate of about 5% since 2000, while other communities show little or no growth. Auburn Mayor Norm Yoder told the Star, as long as you're growing in this economy, it means your community is healthy. A Butler man was in DeKalb Superior Court yesterday to answer to the charges that he handed a gun to another man who then shot himself. Robert Crow faces the felony charges of criminal recklessness for allegedly giving a loaded handgun to Jamie Jasso of Butler who then used the gun to kill himself. Investigators say Crow knew that Jasso had been drinking and had been contemplating suicide. Jurors in the case yesterday heard a recorded interview between Crow and Detective Mark Heffelfinger, which took place shortly after the incident occurred. Testimony in the case is expected to continue later today. Allen County officials have hit an unexpected snag in the Maple Crest Road expansion project. An old landfill that's right in the path of the project may add $1.5 million to its price tag. An old map of that part of New Haven does seem to show what might have been an old dumping ground in that area, just south of River Road. Officials say that if there's a positive in all of this, it's that the project is currently about $10 million under budget. Indiana conservation officers will be on the lookout for drunken boaters this weekend. A spokesman for the Indiana Department of Natural Resources says the state is taking part in Operation Dry Water. Conservation officers will be paid overtime through a grant from the U.S. Coast Guard. Patrols will be increased on bodies of water throughout the state this Friday through Sunday. State conservation officers made 15 boating while intoxicated arrests during last year's operation. The DNR says a total of 101 such arrests occurred during the 2009 boating season. The Coast Guard says drunken boating is a leading contributor of fatal boating accidents. It says 17% of the boating deaths are a direct result of alcohol or drug use. And a driving instructor from Huntington is facing felony charges after a 16-year-old boy accused him of sexual abuse. The boy says 47-year-old Gary Town touched him and made other inappropriate moves during a driving lesson. Town is facing two charges of sexual battery. And our pet of the week today is Shady. Shady is a tortie. She's a year old. She's very friendly and has her front claws removed. If you'd like to adopt Shady or one of the other animals available for adoption, contact the DeKalb Humane Shelter on US 6 in Butler. And that's the news for now. If you see news happening, let us know about it. Email us at HoosierHioNews at gmail.com. I'm Maggie Johnson. Have a great day. But you approved me for a car loan two years ago. Times are tough. We've had to tighten up our standards. Do you approve any car loans? Let's see. But here's some great news. I just got my bonus. If you've been turned down for a car loan, you need to see us today. Preferred Auto is the largest independent dealer in the state. So banks and credit unions want to lend us money. If you're tired of hearing no, it's time to start hearing yes. Come see us now at your Preferred Auto on Grand Staff next to Hollywood Video.